Hi everybody, welcome to Dandelion Cottage. Today's Marvelous Monday and I'm going to be showing you how to make this very special collapsible box and, um, and how to decorate it and we're going to be using it in the scrap busting journal. I'm Leslie Watkins. I'm here to show you how to make something beautiful. And today's project is this. And it's a little box that opens up. And inside here, I have all sorts of beautiful butterflies. And of course, you could put a note in there or any other kind of uh, flowers or anything else that you may like. Okay, and then it closes, it ties shut. I've added some other two-dimensional or three-dimensional butterflies to decorate the, the front of the card. And then on the inside is a place to write your message. So for today's project, I'm using a piece of paper. Now this is not cardstock, but this is actual paper. And I'm just going to trim it down to eight and a half by nine inches. And then I'm going to score it at three and at six. Just gonna fold that on those scores just like so. So you have it divided by three equally. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, let me zoom you in a little bit closer. I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to fold it back on top of itself. And then I'm going to turn it around, just spin it, and I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm going to use my bone folder to make sure that you have a nice crisp edge and this is the configuration that you're looking for. Next, I'm going to open up that fold on one side and I'm just going to turn up these two corners so that they are parallel to the score that I just made. I'm going to do the same thing on the flap. Okay, so I have something that looks like this. I'm going to open up the other side and do exactly the same thing. And you want to make sure that you get that just like so. Okay, 
so now I have something that looks like this. And what I want to do now is to just open this up just like so. And that's going to form the basis for the box. But what I need to do now is make sure that these side pieces lay down flat. So I'm just going to hold down this section in place and kind of massage that down flat. And I'll do the same thing over here. Turn it around, do the same thing on the opposite side. And I'm using the thinner or the lighter copier paper because it's, it's just about impossible to do this with the DSP. It's just a little bit too thick because what you want to do is have something that lays perfectly flat. Once you're happy with that, give it a good burnishing. And that is the foundation for the box. And I've got a little crease here. You just have to play with it a little bit. Okay, so now I've got some things cut out and ready to go. And I'm using this DSP from an old set. This was called Botanical Butterflies. And uh, this is a few years old and I just always loved this pattern. So I'm going to be using this in my scrap busting journal. And so I'm going through all my old stash and I'm pulling things out that um, I thought would work well with this. I've got some, um, oh, I don't remember the name of this paper offhand. It's not Fresh Freesia. It's another one. Let me let me check my friends in the audience here. Hey Kelly, hey Beverly, do any of you remember the name of this paper? I'm not remembering it offhand, but um, but I like the way it looked with the DSP, and I also pulled out some of the um, the other one, the Wisteria paper. I'm going blank on names today. It'll come to me. All right, so what I, what I want to do next is I want to cover up the front of the box. And the way I'm going to do that is I made a little scored flap here. And the dimensions of the box right now are three by five and a half and this measures three and a half by five and a half so I've got a little half inch flap on here and I'm just going to snip those corners at a slight angle Okay, and then I've got another piece, 
and this piece measures two and I've also got this one scored at a half inch and it's also by five and a half and I'm going to do just the same thing and that just ensures that you don't see that on the on the back side So the first thing I'm going to do is put some glue on my flap. like so and then I'm going to add a little more glue to this side and there's my first flap now this side I want to be wider to cover the entire front of my box, but I want it to be a little bit stiffer. So I've got a piece of cardstock, and this measures five and a half by three. And this piece I'm going to glue into the inside, get this out of the way, the inside top of the box. Going to open that up, tuck that in, close it, make sure that's nice and straight. No, it's not Highland Heather, that's it, Kelly. You're so good. You remember everything. The gorgeous grape is, is, a, is much darker. Highland Heather. That's the name of this uh, cardstock that I'm using here. Thank you very much. Okay, so now that I've got that, I'm going to take this piece, do the same thing, add the glue to the flap first, in there. Make sure it's lined up. Give that a good burnish. this down and I have a nice reinforced sturdy flap. Now what I want to do here though is I want to round these corners So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to this way. Let's see. Mm, well, might just make it. This is a, it's, it's hitting the inside of the fold here. I may have to do this by hand, but let's, let's see, let's see how I do. Eh, not so good. Okay, I'm going to do it by hand. 
I'm just going to take my snips and give that a nice little rounded corner. There we go. Now to hold my box closed, I want to add a little bit of ribbon. So I've pulled out this, this thin ribbon and I think it's Flirty Flamingo. What I like about this ribbon is that it is it has the same kind of uh, texture as seam binding. So it, so it ties very nicely and it's only about an eighth of an inch thick. I didn't want to be too thick, so I'm going to get myself a length of that. And I'm going to take a little piece of my tear and tape. I'm going to put that right in the center. Burnish that down. Remove the backing. And then I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm just going to find the center of it. And then put that right in the middle. Okay, so that's going to be, no, actually, I don't want to put it right in the middle. What I want to do is I want to take the middle and do that over again. So I'm going to take the middle, which is here, and this I want to be on the opposite side of the, from the closure. All right, so that what happens is these two tails are, are equal to be tied together to form the closure. And I just want to make sure that that's good and straight. Okay, all right, so there is my basic box ready to go. So I'm gonna get out my scrap busting journal and I'm going to open up to a space that's between two signatures. And I've already got something on the other side that I'm going to show you in just a minute. What I want to do here is I want to add a little pop of color. So the high, this is the Highland Heather. This is the Wonderful wisteria, wishing wisteria, wisteria something. And you can see that the wisteria paper is a little more grayed. And this has a little higher chroma. And I like the combination of all of these things together. So sometimes, you know, when you have a kind of a grayed color, it works really well for going back and then the brighter color will help to bring the the eye forward so being able to use the the two together can be very effective in your design so I just want to get this lined up with my other side I think you can see that. box 
tie the, I'm just going to tie this to get this out of the way for a minute. It's going to go on this side, just like that. If you're interested in learning more about decorating the scrap busting journal, please subscribe to Notes from Dandelion Cottage and you will get on the mailing list so that you can be notified when that class goes live and that's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks. So please subscribe to Notes from Dandelion Cottage and you will be informed of all the upcoming classes, workshops, and events. And if you're somebody who has been following along with the scrap busting journal workshop that we just finished, then um, stay tuned because I'm going to be spinning the picker wheel today at the end of the um, project and we're going to see who the who the winner is so for everybody that posted a, a picture of their journal it doesn't have to be finished just uh, whatever stage you're at you're going to be on that picker wheel okay so there is my my box now mounted into my scrap busting journal and I also have a little liner that I want to put inside of the same beautiful designer series paper so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there and make sure that that's right side up drop that in. I cut this so that it was about a sixteenth of an inch smaller to make sure that there was a good fit in there. And now I'm just going to grab a clear block and use that to spread the glue and get it nice and flat in there. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Now I can go into my butterfly box and I can find some butterflies. That I can stash inside my box. Okay, so there's a there's a nice collection of butterflies tucked down inside there. Just want to make sure that that's stuck down well. And now I'm going to attempt to tie a bow. Let's see. I can get this tied with sticky fingers. Okay, there we go. All right, and then on this side, I have a little flip out. So this opens up like so. And then I've got a pocket inside, and in here I've got a couple of cards. And I want to decorate these a little bit. So I'm going to get my ink out. Clear a little space here. And 
and I've, I've pulled out a couple of stamp sets. I've got stepping stones because I like I love this quote. It says, great works are performed not by strength, but by perseverance by Samuel Johnson. And then I've pulled out an old favorite, Positive Thoughts, because I love this maiden hair fern and this butterfly. So I thought I would use those to decorate these cards. Tommy, hi Tommy. She says, I just love the journal. But I love the boxes more if that's possible. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm so glad that uh, you like it. It's actually a very cool um, addition to a journal, but it's it can be mounted to the front of a card, as I showed you earlier, but it's also, it makes a really pretty standalone box. In fact, I have I have the same box over here now this time I did it in DSP, so it's a lot stiffer. These these sides aren't are not going to fold down flat the way they will with the thinner paper. However, it makes a great box for holding your embellishments, your ribbon, your scraps, whatever whatever you need. So um, it's a really really handy thing to know how to make. Now for my stamping, I've got two different inks. I've got Fresh Freesia. And I've got Bubble Bath, and Bubble Bath is one of the brand new in colors that will be available starting tomorrow. And I thought this would be a really pretty kind of a, a soft um, background stamp for this thir this fern. And I just I just want to see how dark it is. So I'm going to do a, a, a quick test here. All right, it's, it, I don't think that's too dark. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to use it full strength. And let me think. I think this will be a good place. I'm gonna go ahead and, and stamp off so I have a little bit of a, a background there. I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. a little bit different okay and then so that that is the very pretty new bubble bath and it's it's a very pale a cool kind of a pink um, leaning leaning towards the um, the violets I would say and this is the fresh freesia something in there Get that out and I'm going to use this for my quote I'm just going to try it first over here and I'm going to put that up on the top here and I'm just going to put the quote on one card so there it is not not perfectly straight but straight enough and then I'm going to take the uh, butterfly with the fresh freesia, and I'm just going to add that a couple of places. There we go. I liked the idea of perseverance first of all perseverance is one of my most favorite words and I like the idea of perseverance along with the butterfly because it makes me think of the you know the fantastic migration that the monarch butterflies make every year and you know if a butterfly can do it if they've got the perseverance to do something so monumental then um then we shouldn't be defeated before we begin either okay i'm gonna make this one a little bit darker there we go okay 
so there is my there are my cards stamped and decorated move things things over get my book back I'm going to slip this in so that this is going to be the one in the back and then I want this one so that you can see the quote up above the pocket there. When you join the scrap busting journal decorating class you will get a PDF with all the measurements of the various pockets and uh, flips and boxes and all the goodies that you see me using in this journal. So that's, that's part of the class and you'll also have the wonderful benefit of seeing what all the others are doing as well. So, so it's going to be, not only is it going to be a, a scrap busting class, but it's also going to be wildly inspiring, so you don't want to miss it. Okay, well that's my project for today. I really love it. I hope you do too. And um, remember to subscribe to Notes from Dandelion Cottage. That's how you stay informed about all of the the um, classes, the workshops, the PDFs, all of the things that I have to offer. And I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you give it a, a try. The, the key thing is to remember to use thin paper. Don't use something as thick as the DSP. It needs a little bit finer um, thickness to be able to, to make that fold. I'll be back on Wednesday for Watercolor Wednesday. Until then, stay well, stay happy, stay creative. Oh, oh my gosh, the picker wheel. Hold on a second, <laughs> I almost forgot. We have winners, oh my goodness. Okay, I am going to share my screen. So hang on just a second, let me pull it up. Oh my goodness gracious, I almost completely forgot. So um, here we go. All right, everybody, I'm gonna share my screen with you now. Let's see, what's happening, why? Hold on just a minute, I've gotta, I've gotta, um, do an extra step here. Okay. I I think it's working. I think it's working. I should have done this ahead of time, but I didn't know I was going to have to. So, it seemed to be working when I was testing it. Okay, I think we've got it now. So here we go, everybody. Abby! Abby is our winner. Okay, congratulations, Abby. <laughs> I will be sending you a prize in the mail. Thank you so much for being a part of the Scrap Busting Journal workshop. And, uh, and I will see you all again on Wednesday for Watercolor Wednesday. Stay well, stay happy, stay creative, and I will see you then.